Peace and blessings, everybody. It's Marcus Anthony. By now, you either have a chef's knife or you're on your way to going to get one. Holding your chef's knife and using it in the correct manner will make all the difference in your enjoyment and safety when using this beautiful tool. So, today in Tips and Tools, let's go over how to use your chef's knife. Right here on Marcus Anthony table. So, you're in the kitchen, you have your chef's knife, you're cooking more. How do you be more efficient with your chef's knife? Let's go over it. Instinctively, people tend to hold the chef's knife like it's a club or a hammer. This is wrong because it enables the knife to spin or enabling you to put the blade towards you and cut yourself while you're cutting. To rectify that, you change the grip. You place your forefinger and thumb just above the bolster, like this. Curve your forefinger and wrap your other three fingers around the handle. This position literally locks the blade in place so that it cannot spin, giving you full control over your knife and allowing you to have your hand in the safest position possible. That's how you hold your knife. Wrong. Right. Now that the knife is secure in your hand, locked and in position, let's talk about the other hand. The other hand is the hand that is always in the most danger. This is the hand that's holding your ingredients. This is the hand that's always closest to the blade. We always have to keep in mind what this hand is doing. So while we're cutting, the way to keep the other hand safe is by using what we call the eagle claw or the Kung Fu grip. This is the hand position that will allow you to guide your material, hold it down, and also guide your blade as you cut, chop, and dice your material. Show you what that looks like. With your fingers folded, this is how you hold your vegetable. Your flat side of your fingers become the guide and you can maneuver and position your vegetable as you see fit. While you hold your hand with your blade locked into place, your fingers are folded. You can cut through your vegetables and using that guide for width, for thickness, without ever having to worry about cutting your fingers off. That is the eagle claw. And eventually, as you get better and you get down to the end of your vegetable, your thumb will even push your vegetable forward. How do you cut the most efficiently and what motions do you use with your hand while you're cutting? This is called the tip fulcrum method. Let me show you what that's like. The tip fulcrum method is achieved simply by keeping the tip of the knife on the board while cutting and using what I like to call the around the clock motion. Now, picture there is a clock here. This is 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, this is the motion that you use to cut it. So let's go over it. 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, six o'clock, three o'clock, back to 12 o'clock. 12, nine, six, three. That is the tip fulcrum method. This is the motion that you're using as you're moving through your ingredients on the board. Each time you're at six o'clock, that is when you're moving through your material and you're making that cut. Now, we have our knife locked and in position. We have our eagle claw or kung fu grip. We have our tip fulcrum method that we're using to cut. Let's put this all into practice.
get so good at it that you'll be able to do it with your eyes closed. Like a pro.